Greg Michelle with the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency. Uh, just want to give an update on uh, Tropical Storm Marco and Laura that I'm sure many of you have been tracking over the last few days. Um, we have had some development uh, as a result of after yesterday, just within hours, uh, we had an abrupt change in our uh, Tropical Storm Marco, which is now Hurricane Marco. Uh, it actually made an abrupt change uh, to the east. Uh, and as such, the uh, straight line distance across the water actually shortened uh, the time frame on when that storm would make landfall. So uh, currently, Hurricane Marco is projected to make landfall somewhere along the eastern Louisiana Gulf Coast, as it currently states. Um, that will put the state of Mississippi on the eastern side of that storm. Uh, it appears right now, as long as the storm stays, it is forecasted somewhere around a Cat 1 hurricane. Uh, we'll be looking at some wind, rain, and storm surges along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, specifically in Hancock and Harrison counties. Hancock County currently are the only areas that we're looking at making some mandatory evacuations in and around the areas of uh, City of Waveland. They're working those on locally right now. And Hancock County is slated to open up a shelter uh, there. Uh, the big key takeaway from this storm is that it did make some abrupt changes. It appears that the storm track uh, is pretty much locked on a course over the last couple of updates we've had. It stayed pretty consistent with its storm track, time of arrival, uh, as well as uh, where it is supposed to land in Louisiana. Uh, projected landfall again is sometime uh, late Monday, somewhere around 7 p.m. as it stands right now. Uh, now our other storm that we're tracking, which is Tropical Storm Laura, currently is still a tropical storm. It is slated to uh, turn into hurricane strength. Uh, once it gets out into the Gulf of Mexico. It is currently over land, uh, not projected to get out into the Gulf of Mexico until sometime very early uh, Tuesday morning or late Monday evening. So what do we need to know about Tropical Storm Laura? Right now that storm has continued to be unstable. It tends to have moved a little bit further south with a track further to the west. Uh, currently that storm does not pose a major threat uh, to Mississippi, but it is important to understand, much like Marcos did when it entered the Gulf of Mexico, we did see a change in the track. Tropical Storm Laura could very well do the same thing when it gets out into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. We could be seeing a change in the track, but right now we've got to go with what we're looking at now. Currently, Tropical Storm Laura, again, is projected to go uh, and rise to a hurricane strength sometime around Tuesday. Uh, it is projected right now to make landfall somewhere to just to the west of the Louisiana Gulf Coast sometime on or around uh, late Thursday afternoon, late Thursday night. So we've got about two to three days of difference between these two storm tracks. So uh, what I would tell you is do not take this for granted. Uh, once the storm gets out of the Gulf, either one of these storms could make some, some, uh, some changes. So reminder to everyone, check your uh, emergency kits. Make sure that you do have an evacuation plan. I have spoken with the individuals in Louisiana, my counterpart in Louisiana. Uh, they are not uh, making, other than a few, a few isolated places, mandatory evacuations necessary. Uh, no need for contraflow at this time. Uh, so it looks like Louisiana will be handling all of their evacuations on a local level. But we've got to keep our eyes on these storms. Make sure that you are going to be evacuating. Remember to take uh, PPE with you. Make sure that you have it available. Avoid congregate shelters. Uh, at all costs unless you just have to to avoid uh, exposure to COVID. And if you are going to be leaving your area, make sure that you let your loved ones or friends know where you're going to be traveling to so someone can have a track on you. And as always, make sure that you stay in touch uh, with our website and our updates that we're putting out uh, at www.msema.org as we continue to watch uh, Hurricane Marco and Tropical Storm Laura over the next few days.